Radio Shouty. All right. Okay, yeah, that Dame Dash TV. Uh, I had a chance to go through it, man. I've been watching it for a minute. The content on there is awesome. I mean, obviously, it's all original content. Now, starting the record label is one thing, but cranking up a whole television network and streaming company is a whole nother ball game. What has that been like for you, cranking that thing up? I mean, it's been a lot of fun. You know, I did the record label thing years ago, mm -hmm. so I couldn't go back and be like, you know, pitching nickels to me just because I did it before. No yeah. disrespect to the company or to the music industry because there's a lot of bread there, it's just I did it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the expectation in myself is to do something that, you know, fits the levels that I should be at. And what I noticed was, you know, number one, we were outsourcing so much shooting music videos and we making the clothes and, you know, you know, I like to make movies. Mm -hmm. It just made sense for me to have my own, own television network. And, you know, when the internet hit, because I'm always looking for independence, I was like, oh shit, I could do it. And I didn't feel the need to outsource. Like, I always feel like a Johnny if I'm paying somebody to do something I know I could do myself. Mm -hmm. Like, I always feel like the plug. I could grow that. I ain't buying it from you. I'll grow it and sell it to you. You know, that's my approach on things. So I also feel that I'm also really good at making films. So mm -hmm. because I can make films, make movies, I understand the game. I really, like, ran the cash register there. And because I have a business mind, mm -hmm. I'm going to invest in that. But also I'm noticing that, you know, on every platform, it's not controlled by us. None of them are. Even if somebody says they call BET, they're not owned by anybody, which I think is offensive. Mm -hmm. How are you going to be a white company and own something that called Black Entertainment Television? Or a, a record company supposed to be universal, but you call it Black Music. How do, I don't understand that. There's no division called White Music. There's no uh, WET, white, white Entertainment Television. You couldn't do that. You understand what I'm saying? Thanks. So why is it all right to do that in television? And all our stories have to be told by them. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the television network goes to a production company, buys the rights, and then gives them the money and the budget to go make it. But they own it. We come with the stories. They say, yo, the only way you can tell a story is if you go through E1. Mm -hmm. A white company, Tara Reed. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Tara Long. You know? And you notice I like to call white, white people out by name. Nobody does that. I do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to be fighting each other like they want us to. Like the television networks, when they portray us, they try to get us drunk, have us fight each other, and make our legends look like we dysfunctional. Have us looking desperate and corny. But if we got a story to tell, we can't tell it our way. Well, we can now. So my thing is, you don't tell me what to do. I definitely don't give you my culture to give it back to me. That don't make no sense. Plus, you soft. You understand what I'm saying? So why would I listen to you? So it made no sense for me to be working for a television network or having a TV show. I got to have a network and have TV shows and movies and make Disney. I could do it on my own. And when I do make content, it ain't going to be the content that distracts you. It's going to focus you. It's going to evolve you. It's going to show you the things that we need to do to self-sustain. Like they give us entertainment that makes us live vicariously through people that don't even fucking exist. It's all a scam for us to fucking fight each other, pay attention, to the bullshit, distract us from our oppressor, and really understand how to help ourselves. So the patterns that I'm going to put out there are going to be the helpful ones. The ones that tell you what real wealth is, like eating healthy, you know, and taking care of your girl. And if we're going to tell some stories about gangster shit, we're going to show the recourse of it and how you learn from it. And it ain't going to be for nobody that glorifies. It's going to be some niggas that really did it and did the time for it. Period. Right. You know? Right. And, if we, and, and we're doing the politics thing as well. So we got the, um, Andre Carson and Senator Eddie Milton and so many others, because these are congressmen and senators that are fighting for us, passing laws, and you never really see them on CNN unless Donald Trump yells at them. So mm -hmm. we have to be able to empower our own superheroes, the real ones. Mm -hmm. And then we got the OSG network with 90 principles, black principles through the whole country and the whole planet, and we help in education. We're not depending on them to help us, because I look at education, I'm like, yo, how come this shit look like a jail? Why they gotta have the school look like a courtroom when I walk in? Why they gotta sit behind desks? Why they not teaching us how to fucking pass laws? How to fucking farm? Why they not teaching, I was in school. Everything I do right now, the only thing I learned in school was math and reading and to get the fuck out of it. Because I don't know what y'all got. How is a teacher, not no disrespect to one, mm -hmm. but if they not making a lot of money, how you gonna teach somebody how to make money? 
Facts. So they purposely teach our educate, keep our educators controlled and broke. Mm -hmm. So that you want to be broke. And if you don't go to school, sit behind the desk, when the sun's out, away from your parents, you only see them when you're tired, from what, six, seven to, to, to four, you, and, and then you only chill out two days a week, and then you go to another school that teaches you that you got to pay for to do that, then you go to work that looks like school to pay off the shit that taught you how to do it. That's slavery. So these patterns were presented to me, and I didn't accept them. I was like, them patterns don't make sense for me. Mm -hmm. And I see other people accepting patterns because everybody does. And then they end up depressed on pills, trying to escape the reality instead of just taking care of it. See, I'm about that action. So I don't really want to complain. I'm going to do something. So us having our network also makes it where we control the narrative. You understand? Yeah. And also people will be accountable. So if you want to keep trying to be racist, you know the way I deal with that? I buy your company or I put you out of business and I fire you. That's what I do. That's how I deal with racism. You know what I'm saying? You don't want me in your house? I buy the house and kick you out. It's my house now. And no violence, very legal, just awareness of self. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what the network is, period. When period. I look at the network, Dane, stuff like intelligent boss moves, man. Mm -hmm. That leads me to this question. Do you think bosses are born or are they made? I think everyone has the, the potential to be a boss. Mm -hmm. I think you are born a boss and made a slave. No one's going to choose to be a slave. Who the fuck want to be a slave? You, you got to be trained to think that life is good when it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're born a boss until somebody convinces you you're not. Yeah, I'm born a boss. If I can breathe and I'm controlling that, I'm a boss. Mm -hmm. And anything I own is mine, no matter who you are. You cannot come in here unless, if I'm not breaking the laws, do not come in here. And if you do, it's on my terms or you're breaking the law. You know, and I can be confident and arrogant about that as long as I'm not breaking no laws. Facts. And I'm not. It's a way out. And it doesn't have to be illegal and it don't have to be entertainment. Look at the way school programs us, right? Mm -hmm. Either you get a job or you make, and you make minimal money or you could be in sports and make a, be, you know, break a social class. The school provides that distraction, which is lotto, mm -hmm. and makes it to where you, you have a choice, school or sports. I'm like, school, I'm, fuck school, I'm playing sports. And, you're not, and if you don't make it, which is 99% of the time, you're not even prepared. So they facilitate that bullshit. And that is intentional. It has to change. And then down to religion. The systemic racism we're born into thinking Jesus is white. Number one, Jesus ain't even his name. Jesus is a European interpretation of the name. His name is Joshua. Mm -hmm. That's nothing in the Bible happened in Europe. So while we got Vikings, we're Dressed up as God, we born thinking Jesus got blue eyes and we calling him Jesus. Think about this, right? Now, I'm editing a movie. Mm -hmm. And the editor, this other editor who got himself, you know, fired, he kept sending me cuts. Well, well, like when he puts the place where I should do narration, he kept spelling my name wrong. And that shit was aggravating the fuck out of me. Like, yo, you know, the cuts were good, but I was still pissed off. Now, can you imagine if God's name ain't Jesus and everybody running around saying his name wrong? How you going to get his full blessing? But even though people are conscious of this, even though they know it's in scripture, this is factual shit. Because they're programmed, people are scared to say that Jesus ain't his real name. But you're still going to see somebody black saying Jesus, the European interpretation of it. Why? If we're conscious, why do we still do it? His name is Yahshua. Period. 